I think we're on, Mr. Bishop. Of course, this is WAW Aftermath. I am uh, your gracious host. And I just want to get something off my chest. Do you realize when Ronald your Reagan was here? You no, know, that's always going to be there. When Ronald Reagan was president, we had Johnny Cash, Bob Hope, all right, and Steve Jobs. Now that President Obama is in office, we have no jobs, no cash, and no hope. Isn't that kind of funny? Took you two weeks to come up with that one, didn't it? Actually, only about 25 seconds, but that's all right. Of course, I'm greatness himself, Chad Epic, here to bring all the lovely action. Right next to me, of course, is the Celtic Relic, Matt Bishop. We're the Queen City Saints here at the WAW announcing table, and I'm just mammering on. You know what to say, Mr. Bishop. I do indeed, because nobody wants to hear you, Chaz. Let's take it to Pete. How you doing tonight? I'm sitting next to you, Chaz. How do you think I'm doing? Welcome to WAW Aftermath! I appreciate the beer. Now, hey, please hey, give me that back. Welcome to WAW President, Maurice Starr! Uh, you better replace that. I won't. Alright, so we start off the show tonight, Aftermath, on the road to Hellbound. And Miss Starr, bouncing her way to the ring. Yes, she keeps those things out. Oh, she's beautiful. She's moody, delicious. She's gorgeous. She's everything a woman should be. Except we mine. Gotta, I was about to say, we gotta talk about we're tasting women, Chaz. Oh my god, what is with all the serious business around here lately? Come on, last week, what? Saw what sent mom in a hospital? Man, I don't want to deal with that. Look, here's what we got uh, here's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna have good stuff going. First, like, Andreas Reyes is going to come out here and do some Spanish stuff and talk about his pure title. That's hilarious. <laughs> Andreas Reyes, anyone? Crickets? You suck, Moody. Dude. They're not listening to you, Moody. We love you, Moody. No, we we love you. No, we don't. Also, um, there's going to be some tag team matches. Freaking Flex versus Chris Shady. Each of those guys can pick their own partners. Who will they pick? Probably someone hilarious. Could that be funnier than her? All right, and also, in tonight's main event, Oh, here we go. Our WWE Champion, Troy Garbo, will be defending his title in an I Quit match against Dirty Dealer. <laughs> I am so looking forward to that. Okay, anyway, on a, back to seriousness. On a serious note, there may have been a little confusion of regarding last week's team title match. A little? Look, I think that I can bring more fame and awesomeness to the Firebirds. No one cares. Oh. I care. Oh, well, I guess she's got a microphone, so I guess it doesn't matter whether you care or not. Because anyway, let me explain myself. Oh. You see, the Firebirds, we're totally about to blow it out here and lose the match. I decided to personally come out and slap some sense into them. Oh, and guess what? That slap caused the disqualification. But if you were the president in WAW like I am, you would realize that being disqualified means they keep their rematch. No. Told you. Firebirds no. still have a shot at the team titles. And I have personally scheduled for them to take that rematch and meet fresh money at Hellbound. Yeah. All right, well. No yeah, Firebirds. All right, but tonight, let's just start this off with some, uh, whoa. Let's start this off with six man tag match. All right, I'm out. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Following consciously cited a tag team match rules with two teams of three people each. Entering first, we have Ecuador and Inkblot of the International Sport. Chaz, don't do that. You look ridiculous. It's Ecuador. Show respect for the national treasure. Show respect. I'll put him on the commentating table. You can go take a hike. What? Wait. Ecuador. 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 See, he already talks Ecuador. better than you. He does. It's amazing. He doesn't slouch on one side. It's funny, though. He works at 7-Eleven now. It's impossible to get a Slurpee from that guy. Ecuador. Who, Ecuador? Yes. He took Inkwok's job. Inkwok works at Comcast. Cost and Center. joining them from all of Italy, it's Little Italy. Whoa. All right, well, well if international I spot was going to get a boost. A boost? That's not a boost, Chad. That's a freaking ICBM. He looks angry. I want everyone at home to listen very closely later this week if I can get the uh, production crew to post it. Channel 80 Proof News exclusive on YouTube. Literally at the catering table. And their opponents are Riddles, Voodoo and Hex, 
Well, ICP got a big spanking last week at the hands of the Raging Demon. However, I think they're, uh, they're up to full strength now, see all three members. Although, I don't know, this is start, looks like this is going to be a what? Three on five match. They're literally counting for like three or something. I don't know. Come on, Chad, say it with me. Woo -woo. I hate that. All right, Riddles, Voodoo, Hex set to square off against ICP. The International Carbods versus International Spot. Makes you wonder if they're going to have an international title. I don't know. Ugh, let's hope not. Actually, think about it. Hang on. Inkblot's from India. Yep. Ecuador's from Ecuador. And Italy, Little Italy's from Italy. So, yeah, they are kind of an international spot. No, that, that's their team name of Inc Ecuador and Inkblot, the international spot. Used to be managed by Tacos. Chiaro took it over after yep. Tacos left. It's a long history of nobodies. Well, nobody I just got kicked, just put Big a kick in. to the parakeet. I swear he screwed a cockatoo. Uh, One, two. I think his father's a hamster and his mother smelled of elderberries or a cockatoo. It's ridiculous. I'm going to fart in your general direction that you make another Monty Python reference. R Le Voodoo off the ropes and... Choking him with the tail, the sleeper. That's really not a foreign object. Oh, uh, he's going to make him pay, take a cat nap. And now oh, blind man. tag in. Ecuador. Still choking him. Brings Voodoo down to his knees. And double, well, double tail line. Oh, Wow, almost God. ripped the tail off of him. One. Almost took his head off, too. Kick out. Mr. Psycho, the referee, while Red Guy is in traction. And the fans getting behind the, uh, the smallest member of ICP, but certainly one of the hardest fighting. And I two, would say the smallest. Oh, no. I think that and no, wait a close. minute. Voodoo Magic getting pumped up here. Big elbow to the diaphragm, the bread basket, if you will. Oh, oh by that cockatoo. Talk about a cock up. Wait a minute. And Voodoo is... actually getting the tag. Hex getting in, but oh, oh no, wait a minute. got the tag, but no one saw it. I see. The man from I, the Comcast call center, the uh, ink lot right there, distracting the ref. And whoa, wait a second here. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Shh. Oh dear. Oh. oh God. Okay, Voodoo is about as big as one of Little Italy's thighs, so all that mass and weight is just—he's turned him into a pancake. And IS actually showing a little bit of teamwork here, a little bit of competency, wait but wait a minute. Taking the big man down, and springboarding. Blows down the other two, crawling to the, the corner. Big man down out the window, catches the foot. Surprised Jeff, uh, excuse me, Johnny Psycho is not. Uh, oh, here we go. That's a tag. He saw that one. Here that, comes the Hexlin of Hexecution, you call him? Yeah, BB to it, but I Hex right. off the rock. Oh, oh, no. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Goes downstairs. Sunset flip. Can he do it? Can no, he get he all that mess? Oh my on god. His feet. Oh, and Hex in the bad part of town. Incoming. Oh Ooh. wow. Actually, I think he just cracked the ring on that one. Holy crap. Yeah, too bad about Hex, who probably looks like he's gonna get broken in half, and now Inkblot trying to get in, but whoa, well, wait a minute. Inkblot gets thrown out. Little Italy. Oh, little Italy. Cleaning house, Take taking out his, his own team. Hey, he doesn't want no part of this. He thinks he can do it himself. And Riddles now got the stature, but I'm pretty sure Little Italy's about twice That's the man he is. Line. Right, right, right again. Back. Oh, misses again with a big haymaker. And fans Red going basket. nuts. Takes DDT. A wow. Hex kicking him out. Oh, wait a minute. And now Riddles cleaning house himself. IS going to go in sink. Kitchen sink. I just had gas. Oh, that's sinking here feeling. Oh, wait. You're a Nagi locked in. Wait a minute. Double you're a Nagi by Oh, Riddles. God. And that's the spot getting turned into goulash over there. And now Riddles and Voodoo in. I like goulash. 
A way to voodoo magic and, and a, a double, double lowdown. lowdown. This is One, it. One, two, three. Well, I see. ICP picking up a much needed win. What do you mean they won last week? They won the week before that. They didn't win last week. They got demolished last week. No, they won last week. Was it last week they took on Carnage? Stay out of my booze, Chaz. Carnage turning into face paint. But they are back and full and strong. The fact is, if it wasn't for Little Italy, they probably would have won this match. International Spot had a damn good chance of winning this match, but Little Italy's inexperience and ego wanted to do it himself. Well, one way or another, 6 to 1, half dozen of another. ICP picks up the win. No, don't shake my Don't touch me. Take a shower. Woo, the artery. And IS is collecting the damage. Little Italy looks mad. Well, Catering, yeah. beware. Yeah, you stole his last cannoli.